Thanks to Unbound for sponsoring this video. If you want to do college a better way, go to getunbound.org slash cow and get a free quote. Blimey Cow presents It's Okay to Be Boring. In this video today, I am going to convince you that boredom is a good thing. We'll have some laughs, I'll tug at your heartstrings, and when it's all said and done, you will be thoroughly convinced that boredom is freedom. And it's okay to be boring. Let's begin. Part one, are my friends having more fun than me? Do you feel like you're not exciting enough? Like you scroll through your feed watching your friends' <laughs> stories and they just, they look like they're having a lot more fun than you are. They're doing things, they're staying out like they're getting crazy. And what are you doing? Sad, alone, sitting at your, the home. Am I just letting my life pass me by? Well, yes and no. I'll explain it in a minute. But first, we need to talk about part two, the most annoying slash sad person of all time. Please hear me when I say this. The person posting pics from the bar every night, borderline alcoholic, smiling through booze-stained teeth for that perfect selfie. That person is miserable on the inside. I don't care how happy they look. Hey everybody, smile for my story. Tag me in that. All right. <laughs> I JUST FOUND OUT I'M A DAD! YES! I don't care how much they make you feel inferior or like, come on, you're missing out. All you're missing out on is an existential crisis bigger than the one you're currently having. Come on, man, we're all gonna go to Susie's house for the party. Let's go. Oh, uh, no, no thanks. What the heck is your problem? You, you, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to have fun? No, I, I do want to have fun. I just think that what you're doing doesn't sound fun. This only works if we all agree to pretend that we're having fun. Let's go. Now, does this mean that it's good to just sit around watching Netflix all day? Part three, binging Netflix is not a personality type. See, we have two sides of a very gross germ-ridden coin here. On one side, we have the people who are online constantly trying to show you how interesting their lives are. Their pictures are well lit, their smiles are... Smiles are perfect, and, and then at some point they'll post a long caption saying, Don't let my posts fool you. People think my life is perfect. Well, it's not perfect. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. People only think it's perfect because that's how you present it. So whose fault is it that they think that? Also, why do you assume people care whether your life is perfect or not? The other germy side of the coin are the people who are constantly posting about how little they try. Like, it's a virtue or something. Like they're proud about how underachieving they are. All my friends are getting married or having kids. Meanwhile, I just watched an entire season of Friends in one day. Where's my award? <laughs> <laughs> Worst joke ever. See, to me, both of these types of people are the same. One says, hey, look at me, by normal standards of coolness, I'm doing cool things, look at me. And the other says, hey, look at me, by normal standards, I'm not cool. Which makes me quirky! Look at me, look at me! I am, and it's pathetic. They're trying to present themselves as more interesting than they actually are, when really, they're both completely miserable. Like, it's... <laughs> think about it. It's... Everything is just so fake, it will make you start to lose your mind. There's nothing, literally nothing genuine about your portrait mode photo with an inspiring book-length caption about how authentic you are. And there's nothing real about letting everyone know that you spent all day on your butt watching Stranger Things. It's just a show. It's just a show that you're consuming. It has nothing to do with your real life. In real life, there's no publish button. There's no edit mode. There's just... Real. And guess what? Real is boring. It's not very interesting. That's why we all try to spice it up online. <sighs> I wish that I had like a cooler shirt. All I own are white tees from Walmart. You know what? I could edit this one. Let me see what this looks like. <laughs> They'll never know. But I want you to know that it's okay to just not. You don't have to tweet. You don't have to post on Instagram every day. I haven't posted on Instagram. Well, I actually I posted yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to do those things, that's fine. Just don't feel like you need to put on a show to keep up. It's okay to be boring. Because I really think that being boring is the only way to actually take care of yourself. And when I say that, I I'm not talking about- Part four, I could not self-care less. You hear people all the time talking about self-care, 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 self-care. As if every moment of every day isn't already devoted to Numero uno! And they try to make it so attractive, like, Oh, my life is so hard, I'm, I'm gonna do a little self-care by eating this entire carton of ice cream. <gasps> Be 
because I burned this. And of course, they're posting this on their Instagram story so everyone knows about the brave choice they made to gorge themselves on frozen processed Briar's ice cream. I just ate an entire thing of ice cream to self-care myself. Why am I still depressed? I have no idea why this could be happening. I guess I just need another bowl of self-care. Because in reality, self-care is Boring. Taking care of yourself means things such as exercising every day, eating good foods, drinking lots of water, turning off your phone for a couple of hours so your brain can detox for once, and then not making a big deal about the fact that you did any of those things. So brave. Look, everything you do doesn't have to be a performance or for public consumption. Like, how do you even know who you really are? If you're just constantly putting on a show for people. We've been doing this for like 10 years now. <laughs> who am I? You know, I've, I've heard it said that character is who you are when no one is watching. I agree with that, but I'd update it to this. Character is who you are when you're not trying to show people who you are. Who is that person? Just, <laughs> do you even know? <laughs> I don't even know if I know. If you think we have it all together, you'd be wrong. <laughs> Stay tuned for bloopers. Now guys, the new year is upon us, which means it's time to start asking yourself the hard questions. Things like, what am I gonna do about college this year? I know it's easy to put off those college decisions because it's scary and complicated and confusing, but that's where our friends at Unbound come in. Unbound helps you do college a better way by letting you take courses online and earn college credits from home. That's right, you can get credit without being in a classroom. They'll help you navigate all of the frustration of starting your college experience, and they'll do it while saving you money. Unbound guarantees that the credits you take with them will transfer into your school. And these courses could save you thousands of dollars on your degree. The Unbound community is awesome. They do stuff together online and in person, so you're not missing out on the college experience by getting in touch with Unbound. So you can earn college credits from home, save money, and become a part of an awesome community. What would it hurt to get in touch and see how much you can save? Save. Go to getunbound.org slash cow to get yourself a free quote and save money on your degree. That's getunbound.org slash cow. Let's go. <laughs> I said the line wrong. I said, hey, everyone, smile for my story. Tag me in the oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> This goes out to Joe Rep. Yes, my white shirt is canon before you tweet Josh about it.